Am I on? All right. Welcome, everybody. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the latest installment of the Wanger's Play series. This week, we have ourselves a tradition unlike any other, because no one plays the Wii anymore. We have the last two people on Earth who are still playing the Nintendo Wii. We have Mark Ellis, a seasoned veteran of the Wii golf sport, and we have Brian Perez, who just discovered golf about two weeks ago. And if you're asking, Cody, what do you know about golf? Absolutely nothing. This is the first time I've ever worn this polo in my entire life. This is a Lakers hat. Jim Nance is already staring at me, very disappointed. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. Let's introduce the competitors because I'm really scared of talking by myself much longer. Uh, we have Mark Ellis and Brian Perez. Guys, welcome. Welcome to the latest installment of Wanger's Play. How are you feeling for this We Golf action? Mark, let's start with you. You know, Cody, um, I feel like bigger in the Kraken right now because the only person that could stop me from winning is myself. I could get drunk, slip, fall down, and hurt myself. All right. A lot of confidence from Mark. Brian, why are you here? I'm here to take down Mark Ellis. That's all I'm here to do. Doing it he while we're in. A lot. He, put, he brags about how he's great at this game, but I'm here to put an end to that. Okay. Some a decent amount of confidence. Christian is in the booth right now to save me when things get awkward. Christian, how are we doing so far? Oh, Cody, you're doing great. You're great. Uh, I don't know about I don't know about the other two. We'll have to see about their gameplay. But you know what? I give you a solid golf clap. I get a golf clap. I, I think I'd consider this uh, this intro a nice little par. It was like a par five par. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, you expect people to get birdies in this situation, but it's yeah. passable. All yeah. right, I got a par five par. I'm going to stop talking because I don't know how to make golf analogies. We're going to get going with the game here, guys. So the way this is going to work, it's going to be a nine-hole game. There's going to be nine. God damn it, my TV <laughs> went out. Sorry, Jim. All right, it's going to be nine holes that these guys are going to go face-to-face -face against here on We Golf. Again, a game from... 12 years ago that we're playing or maybe even 15 i don't know when did we golf come out let me know comment below all right so we're gonna do this nine holes it's gonna be mark versus brian which guys which uh which one of you wants to go first is it mark Cody, going first please don't i think the reason why jim nance faded away from your tv is because nance knows that he is no competition for this young upstart announcer named cody hall <laughs> Look, those are some jealous eyes he's giving me here it's just like he sees the future of uh what's <laughs> future of golf and it's disappointing all right guys let's go ahead and start our games here all right so you're gonna you're gonna load in we're gonna have streams from both mark ellis and brian you guys are gonna see both we have mark i'm sorry we have brian's twitch on one window and because technology sucks we just pointed a camera at mark's tv for the other one and uh we're setting up our settings here mark going as david lee roth it looks like brian going as himself a lot of uh you know personality <laughs> issues for brian apparently you need to do a, i don't know what i'm saying all right here we go guys we're gonna go here what what was that sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself and know that you can do this you certainly believed in tucking your shirt in with high shorts and i applaud that confidence sir brian why don't you go ahead and start your nine hole game let's get this going here guys comment below if you're watching i don't know why you are but thank you for watching let us know who you think has this in the bag it's gonna be mark ellis he's the heavy favorite brian's just kind of here do you think Brian has a chance of winning, or is it going to be a nice, solid victory uh, for Mark did, Ellis? We're going to find did, out. Did Cody just call me fat? Oh, I, I, did I? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, 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 Jim, Jim, did I do that? I don't I'm care. very sensitive. Look, I'm going to say this about Brian, though. Brian's been practicing very hard. And here's the honest to God truth, is that I think that I care about winning this a lot more than anyone else on earth would. So I think that that anxiety of wanting to win so bad and being finally back competing against someone is such a thrill for me that it might give me a little bit of nerves that I haven't played with before. So anything's possible. Today. That's that's a nice little uh, bit of motivation for you there. Brian, do you have any desire to win this at all? What, what do you care about? I have so much desire. I can't feel my legs right now. It might be because of that it. belt. might be because of that very tight belt I you got going on there. not too small. Yeah. You, know, you get that at uh oh god damn it jim all right you know what? here we go we're just gonna start this let's go with uh we're gonna have marco first guys is that is that how we're gonna do this that sound good christian yeah sure bob <laughs> bob all right here we go marco is stepping up here again this is the first hole par four got about an eight mile an hour wind here going to the right let's see how he does i will be acknowledging the gallery throughout this so all right all right the fans know that we care about them Mark taking a lot of practice swings. The only thing I'm personally good at is taking practice swings. Actually, that's a lie, too. We showed that video in the intro. There goes the drive down the fairway. A nice, solid first hit here from Mark Ellis. Right down the fairway. Oh, right, shit. about 109 yards to go. Let's see if Brian has any chance at all of topping that. I should have practiced. Fuck. 
I will say Brian's coming in with a bit of an advantage here in hole number one. 20 mile an hour wind here going forward into the right. I guess you consider that northeast. I don't know what I'm talking about. Brian, go ahead and get this swing going here. All right. He lets loose. It looks okay. From the start, it's starting to carve a little bit. I don't know about this. Oh, this is exhilarating. He keeps it on the fairway as well. About 80 yards to go. He outdrove Mark Ellis. Interesting. Yeah, no one saw that coming. All right. So I think uh, we're going to have Mark go here first. Yeah, we'll go with whoever's away. Um, right. And we're not playing on the same Wii game for everybody at home. So there could be different wind factoring in in different holes. But these are professionals we're dealing with, man. They got to, uh, you guys got to work through it. We have to adapt to the situation. Yeah. Yeah, you got to adapt to the. I'm going to keep calling back to those shorts, Brian. Those things are just incredible. Mark hits his second shot here, bounces off the fairway into the green, looking at a solid birdie opportunity there. About 22 feet to go for that putt. Let's see if Brian can keep up. All right, stepping up here, using some sort of iron. I don't know the difference between any of these things. I know that the lower the number, apparently, the farther it goes. I learned that from Mario Golf. That was a fun game on the Nintendo 64 back when I was happy. All right, Brian Mario. hits it. Goes oh. off. Oh, overshoots the hole a little bit. Is it going to stay in the green? It's on the fairway, so he's going to have to chip it in. Jim Nance has left once again. I should really fix my sleep settings on my TV. Anyway, we're going to see if Brian can chip this in here. I believe in him. Let's see if he believes in himself. <laughs> he believed in those shorts. Senior Film sent a super chat. Thank you. He said, I'm Team Thank Brian. God. Wang on. All right. Senior Film believing in the underdog here. Brian Perez with Ooh. the chip shot. Oh, going up. He overshoots it a little bit. Still a bit of a makeable putt to salvage a potential par. Let's see if Mark Ellis can take the early lead here with the birdie. Andy Sherpa is in a super chat. Mark for the win, no doubt about it. Are those birds that we heard in the background there, Christian? Yeah, those are uh, cockatoos. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh nice, nice, nice birdie there. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Mark Ellis with the early lead here. First of nine holes. Let's see if Brian. And try not to embarrass himself. Was it part four, part three? It's part four. You've already part fallen behind. <laughs> All right, Brian, really bending down. Again, just showing off both the shorts and the belt. Look at that sweet ass. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens here with this putt. Oh. You know, Brian uh, acting like he has the strength of Cody Hall here with that putt. Uh, you got to hit a little bit stronger than that, Brian. Just a little tap in here. Let's see if he can salvage a bogey at least. Ooh, disappointing start for Brian Press. Already down by two as we move on to the second hole. Guys, this is just about how we all expected this to happen, right? We expected a uh, early lead from Mark Ellis. We expected Brian to uh, to be here. And uh, we're going to see how this goes on for the second hole. Mark Ellis, whenever you're ready, sir. Jackass. Just another beautiful oh, shot there. <laughs> Just another beautiful shot on this par three. That, ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh. Can I, I say this about Brian, right? though, Cody, is that I feel like Brian is really outclassing me with the wardrobe because I don't even own a golf shirt or shorts anymore. It's very humbling. He's outclassed us all, man. This is he, He's winning in style, that's for sure. Let's see if he can get a little close here on this par three, which is the only hole that I've ever hit a par on whenever I go golfing. I never get a anything other than a bogey or a double bogey. We went golfing one time, didn't we? Yeah, it was fun. I didn't do well. Yeah, we made uh, out the whole time. Was that you All in right, Top Brian. Golf, Cody? I love, I love. It. Yeah, that was me. That was me embarrassing myself at Top Golf earlier in that intro. Brian with the uh, decent enough uh, first shot there. Still has a shot for birdie. We're gonna have Brian go first here. See if he can get it. Good shot. It's a good on. Get it, Brian. Nice on. Here we go, Brian. He's kind of angling it a little bit, trying to play with the green, the slope here. Let's Back see. It. Uh, it might be sure it gets tricky. It. You know? Back yeah, tricky. Up. Good song, by the way. All right, SSX Brian's going to try. Here we go. Bend it, baby. Just trying to hit it so I can stop talking, for the love of God. Oh. And he oh. sinks it. Nice putt there by Brian. Getting the birdie, unfortunately. It looks like Mark has a pretty easy putt here, so he will also get a birdie. Let's see what Mark does. Don't want to jinx him or anything. Cody, Can't say that, that announcer's jinx is in play. This is a, I think that this is a deceptively... Uh, quick putt, and I think it moves a little bit more than it's showing. So let's ooh. see what we can do here. All right, angles to the right a little bit, and it ooh, it goes in there. Mark knows what he's doing. Good job there. And now I believe the uh, the two stroke lead still stands here, whereas we head on to par five here for hole number three. I love par fives because uh, I don't know, it, it makes it harder to get a you know a bogey. 
in, in my situation. We're going to have Marco first again. Here we go. Stroke number one. There's a hidden island on this uh, this hole, it looks like. They're hidden in between the trees. Ooh. Is anyone going to go for it? Maybe Mark. Find the key. I, I, Cody, that, that island to me is fool's gold. Um, yeah. I do like to try to maneuver between these trees just to, just to kind of – it's about a 50-50 if you're going to hit the tree yeah. or if you're going to get it through. So let's just give it everything we got here. Yeah, you got a lot of room to play with here. Again, with that two-stroke lead. Ooh, hit it a little too hard. They're going to the right. Let's see if it balances itself out with the wind. Of course it does. Right there on the fairway. Look at that beautifully looking shot right there. 281 yards to go. Brian shaking in his tight shorts. Let's see what he does here on his first hit. Win. Cody, normally I do like to take my chance with the trees, but I don't have wind on my side. Of course, yeah. You got to consider that, yeah. So... Fuck it, let's go for it, you know? Well, this All is right. a children's program. We'll live once. Here we go. YOLO. All right. Again, really, it's really arching that back a little bit. I don't know if that's necessary for this particular game. We'll see here what happens. It's going to be for his As only he goes back account. here. Okay, I'm liking the hit so far. Is he going to land? Ooh, 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 ooh. It looks like he missed the trees there. Brian off to a tough start. 311 yards to go. Stroke two. Here we go. Right now, Brian, go pick it up here. Red Hood 47, thanks for the super chat. Team Mark for respecting Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. <laughs> oh, Jim left after that one. All right, so Brian hits it. It uses a driver to get out of the rough. Interesting strategy there, but it's a pretty damn good hit as he gets really it right, That's right really at the edge of the fairway. Yeah. All right, we're going to Mark Ellis come up right here, show him how it's done. He's got about a two-mile-an-hour wind in his favor. Let's see if he can launch it onto the green. Shaves it a bit to the right. Let's see if it balances. And oh, oh. Oh. got stopped uphill. Oh, man, that's a good metaphor for my life. All right, Brian is going to go right here to try to uh, – let's see if he can get a Tom Brady shot right here. Come on. Ken Napsock in the chat says, I'm going to win so much money on this game. <laughs> Let us know who is going to win in the chat. Let us know. Comment how much money do you have on this game? That's what yeah, we want to know. Yeah, yeah. Brian chips proceeds. it up here. Is going to get on the green? All the proceeds. Ooh, it's uh, on the edge. Hill. It's on the edge. I think I think he still put that in. All right, Mark Ellis coming in here. Yeah, I think Brian can put his. I'm going to have to use the wedge here. The wedge. The only club that I can ever use that gets the ball airborne. Once again, I'm very terrible at golf and know next to nothing about the game. Sometimes I go to the driving range and use a wedge on a tee, which never happens, but I do that a lot. Try to All right, Ellis with a nice on. It. Yeah, still still very makeable putt there for Brian – or for, sorry, for Ellis. Let's see if Brian can uh, try to get a lead here. Today's Super Chats will be donated to Brian to get a new belt. Yeah. Here we go. Setting up. Angling to the right a little bit. I'm nervous for him. Oh. Guys, what, what looks tighter there? His his shorts in real life or his skin tight black suit in oh. the avatar here? Oh, Brian overshoots it a little bit. He's not happy. 13 right, feet right, to go. He's not happy. All right. I'll step up here. Now we got Ellis coming up here. I believe he's going for the birdie. Haskell 420 says, let's get Ellis. Fuck him up. Oh, Jesus. Haskell going for an assassination here. All right. Ellis with the birdie. Kaka, kaka. Minus three for Mark Ellis here so far on this. That's, Cody's, Cody's found his home run call. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Brian here setting up for what I believe is a par. I am not paying attention. All right. Here we go. Brian. You're the goddamn announcer. <laughs> You're supposed to be following me. You're supposed to be following me. The screen's very tiny, man. I'm on a laptop here. Give me a break. All right. <laughs> it's the first time a golfer has attacked an announcer at a, yeah. at a golf tournament. Something you think you'd only see in Happy Gilmore. Oh. Brian has got to take a deep breath here. He's got to take a deep breath. Maybe straighten out his back a little bit because that is uh, he's in a tough situation. He's going to get a bogey here. Just tap a tap tap a -roo. And he's currently finding himself down. How many strokes are you down? Let's see here. Oh, Brian, you poor guy. How you, how you feeling? How you feeling, sir? You know, I expected more from myself, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I can come back from this, but it's, it's only hole four, so we got five more to go. Yeah, plenty more time to uh, embarrass yourself here, even more. Uh, once again, we're going to have Mark go first because uh, – Once again, the announcer's not supposed to play favorites here. <laughs> <laughs> the impartial judge. 
I'm just trying to follow someone who's acting professional here, Brian. All right, here we go. Mark Ellis on a par three. Nice looking par three here with a lot of great greens and scenery as the ball goes up there. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, he goes over a little bit. It's on the green edge. Still a chance for birdie. Let, this is Brian's window. This is Brian's window. If he can get a solid first hit here, he might be able to gain a stroke. Got a little aggressive there, Cody. Yeah. Brian dealing with a uh, 10 mile an hour wind to the east here. It's a tough hole if you got wind. Yeah. All right, it bounces. I'm liking this. I like it. That's a pretty solid hit there by Brian. Best hit of the day so far. Let's see if Ellis can uh, just ruin the rest of his night by hitting this. really taking his time with this one guys i'm really sorry I thought, he, I thought he was about to go um ooh, 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 brian brian this is your chance ellis misses his he's gonna have to settle for par more than likely i hate Let's making see. pars oh all right brian going for the birdie is brian gonna get a cacao i'm rooting for him I'm rooting for you here brian Nice putt. Oh, Jesus Ooh, Christ. Caw, caw, caw. Brian gets a birdie, gaining a stroke. Let's see if Mark can somehow catastrophically miss this tapping. Ow, oh, he hits it. All right. So there we go. Got ourselves a uh, bit closer of a match here as we head into hole number five, which is another par five. Again, I love these things. Brian is going to go first for once. This is amazing. Uh, once again, Brian's avatar here rocking the same clothes that I do on every day, just all black as tight as possible. That, uh, Brian, Brian is dressed like every editor that Collider's ever employed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brian, whenever you're ready, you take all the practice swings you need, you're going to need them. <laughs> Maybe not that many. All right, here we go. Nice, solid hit there. Dealing with a bit of a tough wind to the southeast, southwest, whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, is Brian a third eye blind fan? Uh, fuck it, I botched that joke. All right, here we go. Mark <laughs> Ellis going to go. All right. Wait till the next this, bunker. There's going to be a great third eye blind joke in there. All right. Look, I, I would love to show off for y'all and just hit it right through these trees because I think I can, but I'm just worried about that wind. So I'm going to have to go conservative here. Dealing with a 30 mile an hour wind. It appears that Brian has brought a giant fan and just stuck it to the left of uh, Mark's course here. All right. Going there. Hooking to the right. Looks like it's going to stay on the fairway, though. All right, it's moving on there. 254 yards to go. I believe, yes, Mark Ellis is going up again. Yeah, I, think, again I think I'm a little away, Brian, if it's okay. You are. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the ahead. good news about this win, though, is that it's tough on that first shot, but now I got it carrying me all the way to the green, so. Yeah. Lauren Romo in the chat says, Cody's birdie call is legendary. Kaka, kaka. Ooh, Ooh, going through tree. the trees. Looks like it's still going to salvage itself and stay in the fairway, but that definitely lost some distance there. It lost some of that velocity. Hmm. Let's see if Brian can capitalize with his second hit, dealing with a bit of a 16-mile-an-hour wind to the Ky southeast. Kyle Harlow in the chat says, if Brian can't beat the clown, how can he beat Shooter McGavin? Brian hit it out of the sand there. Did he just use a driver to hit it out of the sand? Did I see that correctly? Yes, I did. Nothing makes sense anymore. 127 yards to go for Brian. We're looking at about 115 for Ellis. We're going to have Brian go again. Cisco. Right, so I got oh. 16 mile an hour winds to the southeast. Do my job. I'm for providing me. my own commentary. <laughs> I was about to say, it seems like he's pretty disappointed with my, my words so far. So, uh. Uh, Cisco Sanchez in the chat says the sound quality, though, dot, dot, dot. Punch in the gut. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Doing all we all right, can. Brian hits this one. Christian taking that last comment very personally, so thank you for that. All right, all right, here we go. The ball going up. Let's see if it makes it up the hill. Bounce, bouncing, bouncing. Oh, it's on the green edge. He still has a chance here. Very yeah. solid hit there for Brian. That's so has a shot at birdie. Shot. This, look, I was out there early this morning walking the course. This, the front of the green is like the tip of a pyramid. If you miss yeah. it too far either way, the ball is just going to roll so I'm afraid of this wind that I have. This this wind is trying to get me to get my ball to blow into the ocean. So yeah. This is very delicate here. 
Christian uh, breathe. Oh, never mind. That's the wind. I apologize. I stepped on a joke there. Christian. The, the right. All right. All right. Mark hits it and avoids the bunker and gets on the green for a very difficult but makeable putt there. All right, guys. 37 feet to go for Mark. He's going to go next, I believe. Trying to get a you long birdie here. This putt, you jackass. Someone on the field is shouting. There's a, there's a heckler that, over there. Get oh, that man. guy off the field. All right, I was really thinking about this one. Bless Brian you. just looking ever as confident. That's a nice putt. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh, what a hell oh, of a wow. putt there. Incredible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Kuka. my God. Kuka, Kuka. I've never oh, seen wow. anything like that. That's amazing. Brian just has wow. to make this to uh, try to feel better about himself. Oh, my God. I don't even know right. what the hell it is. <laughs> Uh, it's going down. It's coming back. Jesus. Brian acting like he's at a mini golf course right now. There's a fucking windmill going over the hole. I don't know what to do. All right, here we go. Oh, dang it. Once it, again, taking his time. I'm going to recant. Oh, dang it from Christian. Seems like something's been messed up. I'm going to recant my, uh, my obsession over that comment. Cisco Sanchez says, I was talking about the wind sounds effect, Christian. Top, top notch. <laughs> he was giving me a compliment. <laughs> God damn we it. so close to Christian <laughs> Oh, 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 good job wow. there, Brian. Kaka, you've earned that Kaka. Oh, my God. You Kaka the shit out of that. Okay. Yeah, the, the score still stands. Apparently, there's fireworks behind me now. <laughs> damn, damn screen. I got to fix this thing. Whatever. Jim's back. All right, guys. We're here to hole number six. Six out of nine. Nice. And as now we're going here, we're going to have, I believe, Brian, because he still technically won the hole before this. Is that right, guys? That is correct. Sure. All right. Brian himself. And Brian and I, we're talking, Cody. We both want a little cut of the Kaka t-shirt sales. <laughs> <laughs> all right brian going in here with a 22 mile an hour wind i'm more interested to see how the golf carts get across this uh very treacherous river um you have to swim it i don't see a bridge anywhere oh god oh, oh god Ooh. that ball is just narrowly avoiding the waters that we just referenced it's almost like we jinxed him all right mark gonna go here to not do a shot that embarrassing we're gonna see how this goes mark hits it Looks like he's going to stay on the fairway. All right. Brian's got to do some solid recovery work here. 115 yards to go here from Mark. 75 left. Uh, technically, yeah, Mark's farther away. Interesting. Yeah, I'm closer, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, go ahead and use that driver out of the rough and see how that goes. All right. <laughs> he's going to punch it right into the water. Mark really taking his time here practicing. Hits it over the river. Practice makes perfect, Cody. And, oh, oh, man. Oh. Just a bit outside. Very good hit there. 11 feet to the pin. Brian coming up here. Let's see if Apparently they... has a good shot, according to himself. We're going to see how this goes. He's really thinking about it. He's eyeballing it. He's got that 22-mile-an-hour wind to the west. He's got a great form. All right. He hits it. Oh, shucks it to the left. That's not looking oh. good. That's a bad shot. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it what it is. That's a bad shot, Brian. You should be ashamed, Jim. What do, what do you think about that, Jim? Jim's very upset with you, Brian. Oh God, let's see if you can uh, try to salvage a par. Yeah, Christian, the next in-studio interview between Cody Hall and Brian Perez is gonna be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, Brian steps up, desperately clinging oh. for any sort of life. He gets it on the green. That's something. That is something to 50, about 53 feet left for that. All right. We're going to have you go again. <laughs> Mark's just going to watch the rest of this, apparently. It's be a monster park you can get it. Yeah. The first time in history a golfer gets in, in a fight with an announcer. <laughs> oh, good effort, though, Brian. That was a good effort. Good run at it. Nothing matters in the long run, but it was a solid effort. We're all going to die. Alice looking at different... Uh, patterns here he's just showing off at this point he doesn't even need to he can probably just eyeball it and he'd still be fine cody it's, it's a very slippery putt uh-huh let's see how he does oh sinks it, he gets sinks it right oh, there earns the caca caca and brian is just looking all sorts of defeated um brian how depressed are you right now as this uh moves on here oh you're not even done yet i'm sorry <laughs> jesus christ all right here we go i'm still going <laughs> <laughs> my turn <laughs> You knew that. I did not. I uh, wasn't looking at all. <laughs> Once again, I want to apologize to Cisco Sanchez. <laughs> all of tonight's Super Chats are going to you. Brian gets a bogey. 
tries to get all of us to forget that that just happened as we move on to hole number seven. We only have three holes left. Guys, if you can, let's just talk to the audience here. What score are we looking at, Mark? What do you have? I am uh, five under, Cody. Five under. Brian, are you under at all? I am even. You're even. All right. You're, that, you're not doing terrible. You're just doing standard. All right. You're a standard guy. Yeah, you're an average yeah. guy. We've learned nothing new today. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah. We're going to have Marco first here, guys, on this hole number seven. Brian hoping he can do some magic here. He's got to win every hole and by a pretty good margin. All right, Mark T's off. Solid distance on it. You're not trying to crush this around. one, Cody. You're, yeah. you're trying to set yourself up for the next shot here. Man. That's almost like a metaphor for this match. All right, Brian. That is good advice. I try to crush it this time. I always try to crush it on this hole. That's what she said. All right, here we go. Brian stepping up. Thank you. Thank you, crowd. All right. 18 mile an hour wind to the west. Brian hits it. Let's he see does. if the wind catches it. It is going. It's oh, going. And oh, it is... in the trenches. Ooh, oh, not quite. It's, it's the in the edge. fairway still. Oh. Good hit there, Brian. Nice shot, Brian. Uh, Who's up? You got 129 yards left for Brian. What are you at, Mark? Yeah, I'm about 115. So he's he's away. All right. Well, I'm 133. Don't, don't flash the numbers. Come on. <laughs> Brian thinking yes. he still has a chance in this, apparently. All right. Did I use my driver? <laughs> he's he's, he's sure you don't want to use <laughs> He's now asking the announcer for advice. <laughs> this is the first. Why don't you just go ahead and hit that putter? Just see if you can make that long-distance putt. All right, Brian using the iron. Use a lot of strength on it. Let's see wind. how the wind helps it or hurts it. Oh, That's a damn good shot, Brian. On the green. Bit of a tough putt, but it's a pretty nice on there. Cisco Sanchez good says... Guy. 37 still, feet to the uh, to the pin. Let's see if Mark can keep up. Cisco says, still a fan, still a fan. No worries, boys. Ha ha. Thank God. I'm really worried. concerned about this feud between Christian and uh, Cisco fan. You said his name was? Cisco oh, Sanchez. Yes. Cisco yes. Sanchez. Yeah. I, was, uh, I, I broke a bottle of wine after that kind of first comment. <laughs> <laughs> All is fine now. All is fine. Look at that shot. What a shot. That's a damn good one. Yeah. 14, uh, 14 feet to the pin there. We're going to have Brian go here desperately clinging for any sort of relevance. All right. Next two holes are filled with water, Cody, so anything's possible. <laughs> it's true. That is true. That is true. It's true, apparently. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think it's, it's, it's not true. a lie. All of it. Shout out to uh, everybody watching, all 140 of you. Good Lord. Especially you Cisco. You guys are amazing. Yes, yeah, especially really Cisco, the number one guy. viewer of tonight's match. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will give you Cody's number after this. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, good good Lord, Brian. Good Lord. What happened there? Brian. I don't know what happened there. Brian, you're a professional <laughs> golfer. What happened there? I think this controller is so old that it just malfunctioned. Oh. All right, we're going to have to get a controller check. We're going to have to send someone in there. Get an uh, equipment check here. Oh, my goodness. We did not check if there were fresh batteries. And he's controller. Let's just have Brian go again out of pity. Here we no, go. They're good. They're good. Yeah. Let's get a couple. Of, let's, oh, All oh, right. oh, he's quitting. Oh, no. <laughs> he just, he closes out. <laughs> let's get some golf 17 laps. 17 feet left of the pin. Let's get some golf let's laps hit in, the, it. Uh, in the chat there. Let's see those hands. Oh, no. Oh, Brian. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Brian. No. You're not at Boomers oh, here, okay? You got you to gotta, you show up. Oh, man. All right. We got Mark Ellis here. Coming oh, up God. here to show him how, a, uh, how an actual golfer golfs. Mm. He's gonna hit putt. Magnus Thor Magnuson. That's a funny name. Says, I want Cody to narrate all things. Oh I would like to stop talking more than anything in the world. A birdie for Mark Ellis. Kaka kaka. Congratulations Ooh. once again. That essentially could clinch it. We'll see if Brian can salvage his shot here and hope for some miracles. Do you believe in miracles? No, I just ripped off Al Michaels. Not even the same sport. <laughs> God damn it. A bogey for Brian. He's, he's had better shots than that. Oh, it's okay. As we move on to the eighth hole, I've had better days. All right, more water involved here. Again, I don't see any path for these uh, carts to go along. I'm starting to think that this isn't a real place. Uh, we're going to have Marco first, dealing with a tough wind facing him, though, 24 miles an hour. Yeah, let's see. Uh, this, is, this is not an easy shot. Let's see if he pretends to uh, have it affect him or anything like that. Yeah, right. that wind is helpful. It's going uphill, though. You might need some strength. <gasps> Oh, my goodness. Oh, He's just showing off. He's showing sexy. off at this point, guys. That is the hottest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. This is a par four, right? He just hit that. Oh, oh my this God. Is great. 
Part three. Part three. Oh my god. Alright, never mind then. Brian, just give up. We went over this. I gave give you up. the instructions of what part each hole is. I just woke up 20 minutes ago, Brian. I haven't paid attention <laughs> to anything. All right. He's up right now. 12 mile an hour wind in his favor. Let's see if he can get on the green. If I hit it too hard, it goes right over into the water. Oh. I want the winds against me. Just, Excuse making already just for Just hit the, the ball. Yeah, just hit the ball. Golfer currently at a plus one. <laughs> hey, plus ones get jackets all right i think if you wanted any excuses you should have done it like five holes ago man. all right <laughs> brian really taking his time here as if the practice swings are going to help him all right hits it up Oh, that's a bullet solid <laughs> shot bouncing up a little bit i kind of like this one oh, i like it. Yeah, it's on the edge i like it yeah 15 yards it. to go on the green edge i believe we're going to have Brian go here. Is that correct, guys? Yeah. yeah. No, Ellis is, oh, Ellis Ellis is up Ellis is Interesting. Up. Mm. What a twist. It, it is. Haven't it watched is. any of this. I just assumed Mark was closer. All right. Oh, no. Am I, am I away? I think you are. Yeah, you okay. are. Mm. I'm 15 yards away. All right. Andy Sherpa says, hope the PGA is watching this. Ellis needs a contract ASAP. That's what we're doing. Oh, he's 53 for. feet away. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're doing yards versus feet here. Yeah. Oh my oh! goodness. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. That's that's game, boys. That might be it. I don't even want to watch the rest of this. Jim, do you want to watch? Jim's gonna take over. All right, Brian, go ahead. That one felt good, boys. Oh, the announcer actually left. Oh, thank I'm God. Back. I'm okay. back. I couldn't let Jim take my job. All right. Now that's Jim who now? Jim, it's Jim Nance. He's a fucking legend. You oh. watch your mouth. Okay. All right. Well, I can All mute right. you. Decent putt there for Brian, but he's going to get a par here. He fell behind again. I believe he's down like six or seven strokes right here as we head into oh, the, uh, I believe it's the ninth hole. Ooh. One clap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. This is hole number nine. This looks like the most uh, extravagant one yet. There's a lot of water going on. A lot of excuses for Brian to potentially make it as to why he got a double bogey. Let's see how it goes for Mark Ellis here first. Looks like he's aiming directly for the water. He's just toying with the kid, man. He's just toying with him. I just, I don't know. This is making me nervous, but I think I got the lead to try it. That's not going to make it. He's not going to make it, but. In case you're wondering, yes, these are the same five islands from Jurassic Park. Get there. All right. Go. Going. Oh. Did it bounce? Did oh, oh no. wow. splish splash! Uh -oh. Mark is taking a bath. Oh. Brian has a shot. Oh, that has hurts. A shot uh -oh. Here, uh -oh. he has a chance. Oh, oh I don't know. I don't even know what to do. Does Mark go again? Do we have Brian go? I don't know what's happening. Oh my god! No, Brian goes. Whoo! Oh. Cisco in the chat says, "Thank you. It's an honor being here. Check out my SoundCloud link down below." Cisco, send Brian it. I will it. put it at the top of the description. For the love of God, forgive me. Brian no. takes the safe route, but he keeps it on dry land. So good job there. Proud of you. Comment below. Do you think Mark did that hit on purpose? We're going to find oh, out. All right. Ellis coming up here. He's got an 18-mile-an-hour wind to the west again. Looks like he's aiming slightly for the water. Let's see if the wind catches oh, it no. this time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <gasps> Mark. Mark. Uh-oh. Okay. What was the score going into this so we know? Okay. You're the announcer. I, uh... I, Brian, I don't I was... have the fucking scores in front of me, okay? <laughs> now it's not the time to get snappy under. over there. You were seven under. Brian, you were yeah. what? Plus two? I think one. Okay. Maybe, so you, maybe you need to win by at least six strokes here. You have a shot, sir. All right. I think we're going to have Brian. Right there? Yeah, let's have Brian go. Right. Brian's going to meet me in the parking lot after this. Uh, <laughs> he takes a swing. Hooking to the right a little bit with the wind. We'll see how that affects it. Ooh. Stays on the fairway, fairway. Once again, playing it safe. 160 yards to the pin. Now, I believe I can't measure the difference between yards and feet right now. <laughs> I think Mark is further away. We're going to have Mark. I'm, a, I'm 132 away. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Brian's going to go first. Here we go. I'm still further? Fuck. Samantha and Leo Mendoza already starting the conspiracy theories. Mark trying to make it interesting. Ooh. All right. Damn it. Cisco Sanchez says, another joke from yours truly. The stream is all thanks I all the things I need. God damn it. Stop fucking with me, Cisco. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Brian. Oh. 
It stays on the ground, but it's in the rough. We're going to need Mark to get at least three more water hazards to make it interesting here. All right, so we'll, this, this could happen here. here. Here's the risk that I'm facing right now is that if I go iron, then I can only hit it accurately, like right to the edge. So I don't trust that. But yeah. The problem with going driver here is that it hits at such a low trajectory. This island I'm hitting to is a little uphill. So I'm going to go driver and just hope that it gets high enough. Paula, back in the strategy. Paula in the chat says, Cisco, take advantage. You can have anything you want out of Christian now. Laugh out loud. That's very true. I will give you my phone, <laughs> oh my car, my and everything. Oh, my God. He's in the water. Guys, guys. What is happening? What is happening right now? Oh, my God. Jim, what I've never seen anything like this. For the first time in his life right Bob, now. Bob, I've never seen oh. anything like this before. <sighs> Mark, not even practicing this time. Hits it as hard as he can. And he gets it on. It's actually a very nice yeah, shot. Is, oh, man. Is, That's probably the shot he needed to, like, guarantee a win still. So let's see if he gets that. Oh, stroke eight for Mark. He's looking at it like a plus three. Right? All right. Is he up? Who's up? No, you're up right oh, now, Brian. Yeah. Announcer, who's up? Brian, you're, you're up, up Brian. You're I just up. told you twice. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Announcer, who's up? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's Dr. Announcer. Thank you very much. Oh, Brian. I thought doctor was your father. Oh, oh, Brian. oh, Brian, almost, almost capturing the excitement of the crowd. Brian's going to be going for a par in a little bit here. We're going to have Marco first going for a triple bogey at the moment, I believe. Jason Solo says, this is your chance, Brian. I don't think he has a shot, though, <laughs> because I think he needed to get like a birdie or Cody, an eagle. Cody, the last time we'll we doubted our parents. see the results. Yeah. If there's one thing I learned. Brian, about you got a shot, oh! sir. You have a shot. Cody, Mark there's... misses the difficult putt. Ooh. 0.8 feet to go. Ooh. I don't know what that is in yards. There's one thing I learned about tonight is uh, don't disagree with the fans in the chat. <laughs> agree with everything that they say. <laughs> Brian even hits if it's a not... bar as Ellis goes for a plus four, I believe. So oh, that's got? exciting. What's Brian the, finishes uh... with a plus one. That's what we're looking at here. Okay. Ellis, let's see if he misses this. All right, he hits it. He hits it. This is this exciting. I don't know what he had going into this. Let's see what his final score was. Oh, of course, it's still minus three. Yeah, yeah, Brian, <laughs> he got a fucking nine on the last hole there, Brian. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know well, that, that was I didn't even know that was the last hole. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had one more. Christian's like, oh, no, guys. oh man. Christian's like, I thought we saw another eight. Oh, yeah. Jesus. All right, guys. Well, that uh, that that does it there. Mark Ellis is your we golf champion. To the surprise of no one, the uh, the inaugural winner of the Wanger Cup. Actually, we're going to rename this the uh, the Cisco Cup I just got word of. And uh, Mark is going to win. Mark, talk to us. How are you feeling today, buddy? You know, Cody, I, I feel great about the round. I think that I had a little bit of fun there on nine. I probably would have approached it differently if it was a, a tighter contest. But it taken nothing away from Brian. The kid has worked hard. He clearly has earned his PGA Tour card. And I think that, you know, someday I'm going to be playing against him and I won't have to put three balls in the water on nine to make it interesting. Oh, man, he may have earned that card, but he has definitely earned those shorts. Brian, talk to us about how you're feeling about that disappointing performance. I was feeling good until that speech by the winner right now. <laughs> <laughs> you played well. <laughs> <laughs> the patronizing going on here is incredible. Speaking of patronizing, patreon.com slash wangers. <laughs> All sorts of content. I'm sorry, Brian. Go on with what you were going to say. No, no, no. You know what? I did what I did. I'm par. I'm average. I did one above. You know, it's not too bad. But You're, you're not average. You're worse than average is what you did. There. I did you're one plus above one. Average. You're Cody, just slightly worse than the normal human weed, being. Cody. That, Cody, that, that, I'm not going to grab my weed. This, oh, this is that a, a challenge? very strange direction. Is that a challenge, uh, there, Brian? What was that? Is that a challenge, Brian? Are you challenging Cody now? He wants me to grab my Wii. Cody talks a big game. Ooh. Hiding behind a microphone. He's got a big dick, too. I got, I got to talk behind something here. I mean, Jesus. Uh, Christian, how do you think that went from your end, buddy? Hey, I thought that was great overall. I think both players played great today. I don't think there needs to be a winner or a loser in reality. Okay? Even though Mark technically did win and Brian did kind of shit the bed a little bit. And I think... <sighs> Let's be honest. Cisco is the real winner tonight. It's yeah, not he's these the two. Winner. He's, he's the real the winner. <laughs> real winner. Let's go again. Let's run this game again. <laughs> Quick match. Five minute match. Do we want to do another one? I don't mind. I ain't doing nothing. I have nothing going on right now in my life. I'm but, free uh, and I'm happy to redeem myself for you that. You guys want to do another nine? nine? So I'm happy to run it back. 
Gonna Brian, you're okay with it? <laughs> see if I'm good. Checking his his girlfriend's purse apparently. Okay, Miller Light. He's got Miller Light. Christian, we should probably ask the tech guy before we ask anybody yeah. doing this. Christian, are you okay with another round? If you'd see me, I'd be waving my finger. Let's run it again. Let's run it All again. Right. Another nine holes. Let's do it. Let's Wait, ask the we, fans. Watch the fans just with, say uh, no. What, what did Cisco say? <laughs> oh, Cisco's waiting for the wee boxing match between him and Christian that's going to take place. Uh, that's going to be exciting. All right, guys, I guess we're doing another round of this uh, this 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 game here. We're doing some more golf. Jim Nance is just, he's speechless. He's speechless with what was just announced as we boot up the next game. This is very exciting. Oh, let's see. I'm going to switch golf. Is, is it okay to switch golfers from David Lee Roth to Sammy Hagar? Yeah. I think that's fine. You can use an actual golf club if it helps Brian at all. I mean, oh, I yeah. What's, people are what kind excited. of chance he's going to have. The, people are excited in the chat. The back nine. Let's, uh, Haskell 420 says, let's get it on. Again, Freddy Concepcion, yes. We got smiley faces, run it back, says Andy. Harley Payne says yes. I think people are excited. Oh, you know, I oh, I just see uh, Cisco said, go fuck yourself. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He did not say that. I would say we should keep it with the score, but at minus three and plus one, does Brian have a shot? I mean, should we just do straight even again? I don't know. Let's do even again. Yeah, why not? All right, we'll go even again here, all right? So here we go, guys. We head over to the first hole. New Brian, year, new Brian, stop talking. All right, Mark's <laughs> going to go first because he's the winner. He's got a 14-mile-an-hour wind on his side, oh, and the ball goes down the fairway. Beautiful hit. Slicing to the right a little bit. To the left. That's to the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know directions, I'm gonna stop. All right. I'm going to stop. 79 that? yards. <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Jim, was that you? Who's right. in my headphones? Brian's stepping up here. Zero wind at all. That's oh. my voice cracks. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Brian slicing that one to the left. That Sticking was the that left ass direction. Up. That was Sticking the opposite of right. Up. But it stays on the fairway. Right now we're looking at 79 yards for Mark and about 105 for Ooh, Brian. So still Brian's far away. Take us out here. He needs he needs more power in there. Yeah. By being a champion, Brian, that's how it happens. He knows what he's doing. He's got wind on his side. I'm not happy about that that last hole. Well, Brian, if you wanted to teed off with a sand wedge, this wouldn't have happened. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. I was just fucking. No, yeah. I feel like I could, I could tell you that, though, and you'd believe me at this point. No, I don't. Really like cycling through all of his clubs here, <laughs> going with an iron, maybe. And he's talking during his swing. <laughs> now, I don't know much about golf, but I know you're not supposed to talk during your swing. You're also supposed to hit the ball. Oh, oh Brian, just narrowly missing the pole. These birds are at it. All control. right. Goes past the, past the hole there. Bit of a difficult putt there for him, but we'll see if he can get it. Mark Ellis stepping up. Pretending to feel intimidated, oh, he, and he, he hits didn't it, even... and that's uh, oh, that's even a bit wow. of a tough one. This yeah. is going to be interesting back nine here, guys. We're going to see what the sitch is. 40, uh, Mark is forty-five feet or yards. I don't even know anymore. He's forty-five feet to there. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to have uh, him go. We're going to have Mark go. Lauren Romo says, "Let's calm down on the first pump, Brian." Who's <laughs> she? <laughs> enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna comment next. oh good putt oh! there she's gonna comment next and be like i was just kidding brian and then it's gonna be lauren versus brian here that's gonna be great right. brian setting up trying to keep up desperately here lauren keep at it keep keep trolling. yeah keep, keep cisco it. fighting christian lauren keep fighting brian i don't want to fight this because cisco kicked my ass already yeah uh, oh! oh brian just missing but got close wow man tough there trying to sink the par all you gotta do is tap it in Staying within, really taking his time with his tap. You don't think you have to analyze it there too much. Go. All right, there we go. I was, I was trying, because sometimes yeah. it'll just, like, launch. Yeah. No, like, Tiger Woods crouch yet for the uh, the putting, guys. We got to, like, really look at the pattern. I don't want to tell you how to do your job or anything like that. All right, Mark L is going to go here on the second hole. No wind facing him. Let's see how he does on this nice par three. A, th a pre? These are ideal conditions if I hit it far enough. Pre is a good joke, Christian. Okay. That's good. You should be proud. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Who can, who oh. can do with that? Who can do that? <laughs> oh. uh, Brian, you're up. I, I almost had to change my pants right there. Oh, my oh, goodness. My Jim God. almost had to take over. All right, Brian. Let's see if uh, – oh, Jim just left me. All right, let's see if Brian can win here with the 22-mile-an-hour wind on his back. All right. 
bit of a uh, disappointing. Tell you, man, you guys are dealing with competition Ellis now. I'm not, no jokes. I'm, I'm very upset. You thought he was giving you these extra nine holes as mercy, Brian? No, he's, he's going for the kill. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Somebody get a rake. Is Brian a third eye blind fan? Because he can feel the sand beneath his toes. All right, there it is. There's the joke I tried to do in the first game. All right. 12 feet to the pin. Brian trying to salvage a par. We're going to have him go right here. Oh, sinks it. Nice. Good job there, Brian. Again, just hitting the bare minimum to succeed. Proud of you. It's very good. Ellis stepping up here. There's a, it's par for a reason. You're supposed to get par. <laughs> Tell that to the caca that just happened. Cody, did we just find your, uh, this guy spends more time in the sand than David Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that might be it. That might be my one. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to have uh, Marco again, of course, here on this uh, hole number three. Ooh, I got some, I got some tough win I'm facing here. Yeah. <laughs> Cisco's not going to like that sound quality. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Ellis, it's a tree. Oh, I am. Ellis somehow Groot. turns into a hummingbird mid, not a hummingbird woodpecker. God damn it. Know your birds, Cody. All right. Brian's going to go up here. Busy with that third eye blind joke to know. I your know. Head. I couldn't work on my woodpecker joke. <laughs> Shit. Ken Amsock says, "Fire Cody." Ken, join us now and take over for Cody right now. Yeah, please, for love of God, put me out hey, of my misery. You know what? Napsock has a friend named uh, Josh Makuga. Yes. And if Makuga's watching, I don't want him to be judging my golf swing. I want him to be judging my level of desire and competitive fire. No, oh, I think Josh is judging Cody's announcing skills right now. That's for sure. Yeah, I didn't ask for this, guys. Uh, two nine. I uh, know Mark's gonna go first here. Okay. All right. Again, no one going for that secret island there on the left. <laughs> After my experience on nine, I am not going for that island. Dealing with a bunch of cowards here on this fairway, but Mark hits it nice, right there on the edge. I've never noticed an island. <laughs> I, play the, I play the way the sounds game like, plays. <laughs> sounds like someone who definitely gets par all the time. All right, oh. here we go. <laughs> Josh McCuga will be announcing these things eventually. So first oh, test run. Shit. Cody really wanted to announce. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not true. Oh no. Hey. OB. We got an OB. What the hell? That's, that's almost. Happen. That's equivalent to Mark's water hazards in the ninth hole of the last game. Okay. <laughs> How embarrassing for Brian. Looks like he was aiming for that island after all. It's that one. That one looks like it's going to stay on the fairway. Maybe not. Looks like the fairway edge. The rough. Oh, Jesus. All right. 103 yards to go for Brian. I think I'm away. Yeah. Cisco just gave me an idea. He said, welcome the Cisco Invitational. And I think that's what we're calling this for now on. <laughs> oh, get up there. Oh, that's a hell of a shot. Oh, man. Brian's regretting calling for those extra nine holes, aren't you? No, Are you not. shaking? Are you shaking in your shorts? I don't let one hole dictate my life. What about three? This is the third one where he's outclassed here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Brian's Can't beard say. looks spectacular, though. It does look pretty good. That one hooks to the left. Might be beneficial, though. That ball bouncing. Ooh. Pretty decent Ooh. save there nice for shot. Brian. Got about 11 feet to the pin. We're going to have Brian go first. Pin. Is that what it's called? And I'm the one who's not being professional. Okay. All right, Brian. Paula says, as much as I love Josh, Cody should announce everything, even if he doesn't want to. Oh, <laughs> man. This is no. Story. Paula, no. Story of Cody's All right, life. Brian sinks it for something. I don't even care at this point. Mark's going to go up here. And uh, I believe he's one. getting a birdie. Oh, fucking cakewalk, dude. Kaka, it is. Oh, my goodness. Brian trying to just keep his Brian. hand on his hip, trying to portray some form of confidence and, and, and stress-free, but I don't think it's working for him. I can tell he's, he's really nervous. We got Brian he's at plus this... one, and Ellis is at negative three, minus three, oh. whatever the words are. Who cares? <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. No, we know who's going to win this. Matters, right. yeah. Mark stepping up here for par three. Beautiful shot there, once again. Yep, it's curving right. It's on the green. It's good enough. We are arguing against each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is really unprecedented for golf right here. 
All right, Brian stepping up here, dealing with a 16 mile an hour wind in his face. Let's see if he can get this. He used a little bit of extra strength on that one, hooking to the right, and it bounces. No spin at all on that one. That's almost more impressive than getting a hole in one, I would say. 47 feet to the pin here for Brian. I think we're gonna have him go. All right, again, you can't tell with these these greens. You know, you're not there. You're not physically seeing it. Yeah. So, I mean. Wait until the fourth yeah. hole to, to do the excuse there on uh, this one. That's good. Teddy uh, Fischia in the chat says, you know, Wii Sports Resort uh, features a full 18-hole course, right? Okay, yeah, well, we don't have eight. that one. Oh, nice putt. Oh, my goodness, Ooh. Brian. Brian getting the caca, caca. Good job, sir. With, with Wii Resort, like, I can't play. I own it, but there's, like, some extra plug-in you need for your for the bottom of your Wii controller. That the I Motion have. Plus. Yeah, yeah, the Motion mm. Plus, yeah. Can't afford it. I used to play ping pong on that one. That was always fun. <laughs> All right, Mark hits it here. Of course he keeps up. Oh, my goodness. Brian had the shot of his life, and it still isn't enough here to gain a stroke on Mark. Ah, difficult. Difficult day here for Brian as we head on to hole number five, which is a par five. We're going to have Marco first. No eagles yet today, so let's see if we can change that. You guys don't want to hear the sound I make when there's an eagle. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> Freddie gets Freddie Concepcion says, uh, fuck Brian, pound that beer and call it a night. <laughs> Brian, Brian not getting an ounce of support from anybody here. <laughs> He's really just getting shit on. What's the score right now? What's the, what's the score? I, think, I don't know. You should be paying attention, Brian. Come on. I am, uh, I am four under. I think, Brian you, is, I think Brian is still plus one. Brian already down by five. This is the fifth hole. <laughs> All right, Brian, tease off. Uh -oh. And that bounces deep, deep into oh, the rough there. Geez. That might be OB. Is that out of bounds? Oh, that's, uh, that's, rough. that's rough. That's just rough. roughly uh, out of bounds. Yeah. Again, going with a driver out of the rough. <laughs> Interesting strategy for Brian. Don't know. If oh, am I up right now? Oh, I don't know. I'm 248 away. What are you? Uh, give it a second. He's on hole five, oh, oh. par five. And 224. I guess it's Mark, surprisingly. What a twist wow. again. I wasn't surprised one bit. I knew what I hit. <laughs> you knew the strength of your hit. <laughs> Give me a nice bounce here. All right. Bounce in. Oh, that's a sexy bounce. We could have an oh, eagle yeah. noise from Cody here. Mm -hmm. Going to Google what eagles sound like. Have, have Grant do it. <laughs> Just put them. <laughs> He'll be damn near close. All right. Brian hits it out of the rough here. Let's see if it gets into the green. It bounces and... Very disappointingly stops <laughs> up the hill there again. The hill before this hole is like a pyramid. If again, with the excuse it. making here for Brian. Brian is getting the now. fact that he's a professional golfer on a course and he's complaining about the course. Okay. Paula Becker says, I wish this could be Brian's comeback story. I don't think it will be. We're going to have to play a 27 oh, hole. Here. And to contrast that, Lauren Roma says, Rough, a metaphor to <laughs> Brian's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's his memoir. <laughs> All right. Rough. Uh -oh. oh, God. Oh, no. oh God. Oh. Oh, no. oh Brian. <laughs> that didn't even happen. The wind wasn't even blowing <laughs> that way. What even the, the guys who made this game didn't even know the level went that far. All right? You just, like, hit it out past their coating right That's there. That was, that was miraculous. What I've never seen that, like... and I've also never seen a double bounce like what happened to me when I dunked it on nine. So there's yeah. unprecedented golf being played today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. All right. Okay, here we go. Space Wolf Lounge says at least Brian's uh, Wii golf skills is better than his Star Wars knowledge. So that that's that's, that's true. That's he has more respect for this game than he does the Star Wars that's franchise. Absolutely that's true. <laughs> All right, Brian trying to chip it in. Solid efforts. He's just hitting it. Yeah. Ellis is up. Pass pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha Leon Mendoza said, Brian wins every time. The camera's on him. I can't get enough over his golf attire. So that, that okay, there's a couple people. A couple people. That noise right oh, there. Oh, oh, is that the eagle? <laughs> oh. I think that's an eagle. I don't, I don't freaking know. All right. <coughs> oh, Brian's still playing. All right, here we go. <laughs> trying to this think this. I'm not sure if this is for eagle or not, but we'll see. <laughs> I can confidently say it's not for eagle. <laughs> I think we're pretty sure. 
<laughs> All right, going there with a, a double bogey. A double bogey. What is a Jesus what Christ? Does a double bogey sound like Cody? Just disappointment. All right, moving on here to hole number six. Again, oh, going back to this river hole. I like this one. This is a fun one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Brian now is just Brian. defiant, interrupting my commentary. It's it's so funny to imagine like two PJ golfers and one just birching in the birching in the other. <laughs> Uh, solid hit there for Mark, of course. Hit. Yeah. And Brian steps up here. Uh, let's... Trying to uh, got to remind him there are people watching and there's pressure on him here, but he doesn't seem to care. And he hits it right <laughs> into the sand. So the wind doesn't take the ball anymore. Like I, I counted for the wind. <laughs> Kyle Harlow says, "Time for Brian to rage quit." <laughs> who's, who's further? <laughs> Me? Uh. Hello, yeah, one sec. I think yeah. we'll just have you go. <laughs> I'm 140 away. Yeah, you're going to hit it out of the sand over the river. This is going to be good. Let's hope this happens. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, he hits it with all of his strength. Oh, that is <laughs> swings. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> goes from sand to sand, you know. Oh, <laughs> man. His ball's dry. That's all that matters. I would make another third eye blind joke, but Ken might block me after that. All right, so we got... Uh, Mark coming up here once again to remind us how to golf. Oh, there it is. There it is. God, it just makes it look easy. like like cutting. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, I mean, like cutting butter. Oh, Brian, even if you weren't atrociously bad at this, how are you supposed to compete with that? I mean, that's Ooh. just who can? Yeah, who, can <laughs> who out there can take on Ellis and make Brian, it a close completely game? Completely giving up at this point, but he knows <laughs> that he's contractually obligated to do three more holes. <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of which, Scott Douglas in the chat, and some people will get this. There's no way that's Brian playing on screen right now. Obviously, it's just a stunt <laughs> gamer, and he's doing VO. <laughs> <laughs> no one has that's a, a good. That's pretty good hit there, Brian. Yeah, that's good. That understand where you guys are too busy cracking jokes over here. I'm so, I was too busy golfing. counting your strokes. You're like what plus eight right now? I'm sorry. This guy said, "Is Brian playing in the desert?" <laughs> <laughs> God, Mark gets a birdie, of course. Oh. Neil Hutchinson, that's a, that's good. <laughs> John G said, needs sunscreen spending all that time at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all God. right, gets a par. Yeah, How was that a par? How was that a par after all no of idea. that? Oh, man. Jesus. That's, that's, that's like a three. very impressive par with Brian. <laughs> 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 that was it. I thought that was at least a double bogey. <laughs> all right. Do we even need to say who's up first here? It's Mark. Mark's up again. He takes a hack. Bounces off the rough a little bit just to mess with Brian. It sits there on the fairway just looking like a beautiful shot. 120 yards to go. Again, there's two trees out here that you want to try to hit it right in between. You want to kick that field goal. Yeah. Brian stepping up here. Seemed to have forgot he was even playing today. I'm a little concerned about his back. He's really arching that thing a little too much. I'm a uh, scoliosis does, or that something. That doesn't look I healthy cool. at all. Is that as yeah. much as you can arch it? Is your is your hip okay? All right. Can you can you back that ass up a little bit? Is that shot okay, Cody? <laughs> That's pretty That's cool. decent. It's I mean it's decent. It's not between the trees like Mark's is uh, beautifully shaping up to be. But uh, you have a shot, I'd say. I think, I think I'm away, Brian, by a couple of yards. Yeah. I'm 116, yeah. Brian getting the small victories, you know. <laughs> He's got to get him where he counts. Yeah. I was closer more times, you know. That, that's that's what I can that's four yards. take home. Uh, Cody. Alice with, good Lord. Good Lord. Oh, yeah, I'm locked in, boys. Oh, my God. Anyone, uh, Cody Gidley says, uh, anyone want to go to Red Lobster after this? <laughs> Hey, guys, my right arm is just a little bit longer than my left. <laughs> uh, what, what's her name in the movie? I forget. Uh, uh, Virginia Bennett. Virginia Bennett. Uh, diet. I love when he says diet. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a Coke or a Pepsi. <laughs> oh, Virginia. Diet. Brian hoping to stay oh. relevant here as he hits the tree. Tough to tough to hit uh, those trees. Man. 
Brian acting like he's aiming for one of those like TV towers that fell over at the end of Happy Gilmore there, but forgot it was just a tree and it just stopped the ball in its path. All right here. Brian, you, you're arching your back more and more as we're going along here. I'm genuinely <laughs> concerned for you. Sorry. <laughs> you said it with an arrow. All right. Find, well, he got it on the green there, uh, to find the which brings us a little bit, a little bit closer yeah. to this ending. All right, Brian. I like that you're getting into the golf swing. I can't stand the people who play Wii like sitting down on their couch, oh, just taking a risk. Fuck those guys. All those, <laughs> all those one percenters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are playing Wii golf. <laughs> that own stock in Wii golf. Oh, yeah. Jesus. oh Brian <laughs> is just. Uh, uh, just two misses away from just jumping out of his window right now. So uh, I am away now. Miraculously. All right. Brian slamming his beer down. He's a, he's very furious. I was off camera, Cody. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> comment below. What's tighter, Brian's shorts or his shirt? We're going to find out. All right. Brian, you're going to chip it in here or try and just tap it in. Even, he makes when, it. even when he, he finishes, his, even when he finishes the swing, he stays in the pose. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta follow through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian's currently at a plus three. I'm assuming Mark's. We're gonna say he's at like a plus five or some shit. I don't know. Mark's gonna go first, and uh, only two holes left. Thank God. He hits it straight. This is looking Wind good. For him. Oh, yeah, a lot of wind there. That's Couldn't okay. hit the green though, so this Mark's, barring about Mark, eight water hazards. I think Brian has a shot. It's okay. I think Mark's worse is Brian's best. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the next thing, Brian's just gonna be on the floor when he hits it <laughs> at this point. <laughs> As he bounces okay. it. Oh, like right next and to hits him. Hits arguably the exact same shot that Mark just had. Which is, uh, again, probably more impressive than actually winning the yeah. game, I would say. I got bad news for Brian. I'm one yard closer than him. Uh, <laughs> the one thing Brian had going for him. And Mark just took it away. Putter. Lauren Romo says, I'm just waiting for Brian to chuck his clubs into the water. So are we. I'm hoping an alligator just puts him out of his misery. <laughs> All right, going up there. <laughs> And oh, that was a good oh, shot. Geez. That was a good shot, but you missed. Chapter eight of rough. <laughs> That's a good shot. Well, hey, Cody, this is a good sen sentiment. Uh, Paula says, As much as I love you guys, I hate sports. Legit was only going to watch the first couple of minutes of this, but I'm still here. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. That's all you, Cody. <laughs> there we go. You tune into our stuff you don't think you're going to watch, and you end up watching. <laughs> oh. That's how it goes. That's a hell of a oh. shot there by Mark. Good Lord. Oh. That hurts. I mean, there are children watching, Mark, and you're just straight up murdering Brian right now. Oh, God. Arcadio, thank you for the super chat. It says, cheers to the inaugural Cisco Invitational and for the therapy Brian will need after this. <laughs> Trust us. All the super chat is going towards that. You get $20 therapy? <laughs> I He's just lying down like the, the announcer just kept shit talking me the whole time, Doc. I don't know what it was. I just don't What's know what I did on? to him. What's the going rate for therapy an hour? Like 150? So it'll pay for like, you know, like five minutes or something like that, right? I don't know, man. Just to like hear his situation. Yeah. Like, what's oh, your, God, what's wrong with you? I suck a week off. Thanks for your time. All right. You guys know where I'm going. No, he's going deep. This is Brian's chance. Once again. Which I say, uh, you know, a little tongue in cheek there. All right. We got it. Uh, yeah, I, I can be more sarcastic. This is Brian's <laughs> chance. Oh, that's a hell of a shot there by Mark. Oh, oh God, the best shot. He'd be taking saying. a sailboat to get to his island there, but he's gonna he's gonna get it. <laughs> Let's see if Brian can uh, do anything of value today. Let's see, that's it. I mean, looks good. Oh, looks good. Oh, get up. oh, oh, oh. oh come on! <laughs> oh God. Um, What's that handle? Water hazard. Ugh. I like his gameplay. Yeesh. Water hazard is water hazard is the uh, sequel to Rough. It's the second book in the series. <laughs> <laughs> it's about life's unexpected problems. All right, so Brian uh mercifully makes it to an island there. Still 199 water yards. Hazard, I should write the foreword like, "Hey, look, as somebody who's been <laughs> in water hazard." <laughs> All right, we're going to have uh, 
I guess Brian again. Yeah, I think Brian goes again. He's got great form. I mean, mm-hmm. he's hitting the ball well. Uh oh, sick. The ball's not oh, going very well, no. but he's hitting it well. Mm-hmm. It tells me where I need to do it, and I do it. It yeah. doesn't work. Still going. Uh, excuses. 18 holes in here. <laughs> might just accept the fact that you might not be better than Mark. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn All it. Right, Mark hits it. Punching. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Overshare. Yeah, he's only human. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, it's dry. Yeah. Where further? I'm further back. I believe uh, so. Yes. Twenty-eight. Mark's twenty-eight. Yards. Brian is waiting for fifty-one. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh god. Good lord. What hole is this? This is the last one. Oh, okay. You. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Brian hits it with all of his might, and it bounces. Oh. Actually, a pretty good shot. I'll take it. I'll take it. If only yeah. all the other yeah. shots he took today mm-hmm. were not catastrophically awful. Pretty bad. All right. Ellis coming in here. Pretending to break a sweat. Wow. Wow. Oh, good God. Oh, I would have believed What a it. way to cap off the I night. Oh, it. man. That's just oh, a hell of a shot. Making it look easy. I mean, he's been going for a, uh, a birdie in a little bit here. Brian's just going to put himself out of his misery. Mark making it look easy. Brian making it look really hard. Oh, oh hey, that's actually, Brian, that's a good, that's good I mean, hit. it's bogey, but it's, it's a good putt, all right? Thanks. Good job. Good job. Finishing around 40. Okay. <laughs> plus four. You did worse this time, so all you're right. plus five after 18. You didn't mark it. That was uh, you just got a birdie. I believe Mark was minus three the first game. Oh, good God. Minus nine. Wow. I feel wow. like I need, like, a minus five handicap. Yeah. He still I'd beats say you. double digits just to be safe. <laughs> he oh, still man. beats you at negative five. <laughs> oh, he does. Boy. You're still wait. down by like eight strokes in the next. Oh, yeah, one. wait. It's four. <laughs> so you beat me by 13, right? You need like a minus 15 is what you need there, yeah. Brian. All right. You yeah. 13 strokes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, wrong. He I beat you by 15. Yeah. I don't know where this I'm, I'm happy to oh, take no, on 13, the challenge. Man. Look. Of all the people in the world, Brian was the only one that stepped up and said, I want to play Wee Golf against Mark Ellis. So I appreciate Brian taking the challenge. It's not an easy thing to do, and it's even harder to do when your clothes are cutting off your circulation. (laughs) (laughs) Brian's making poses right now and posture, things that I've never seen a human being make. I just wanted to be okay. Are you all right? He doesn't normally. What are you doing right now? He does not stand like that at all. I I don't think he has a choice to stand like that. I think it's just there. His <laughs> back is arched so far backward that I'm genuinely <laughs> concerned. Oh. It reminds me of my grandfather the way he used <laughs> You know when they used to take hey, photos? They used to take photos. You have to stay really, really still. You can't move or else it messes up the photo. He's standing still right now. <laughs> on that note, guys, uh, I guess we'll do a post game for this as well. Mark, how do you feel you did on that one? Minus nine. Well, Cody, I mean... The whole round, I was really thinking about what am I going to do on nine? How am I going to redeem myself? So I'm glad I was able to show the world what I can really do on the island hole. And then everything leading up to it was just the way that I usually play golf when I'm in the comfort of my own home. You never know how you're going to perform on an international stage. And uh, I'm happy that I stepped up, not for me, not just for my country, but for the Wanger show in general. All right. Appreciate that great answer. Brian, are you going to be able to sleep tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna hit the showers after this. You know, I've been sweating a little bit. Um, I think I played pretty good today, so I, I'm 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 pretty happy with myself. <laughs> For the love of God, man, see a doctor. Yeah, this is this, I'm I'm so scared. It, All right, guys. Just hit me. How Brian's standing with his arms. He's got the uh, Forrest Gump on the Bubba Gump shrimp boat look. <laughs> he's waving. He's, the, he's waving the wave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> That, oh boy. That about does it here. <laughs> Russ said, uh, hey, great work, Cody and Christian. Yeah. Great job. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this was we, fun. Uh, we got there. We got done. Thanks to everyone in the chat who, uh, who watched for some reason. I don't know why you did, but I appreciate you doing so. Christian, good job, buddy. Thanks. I'd give you a high five right now, but you're not on camera. So I'm just going to assume that you're tapping your screen. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. And uh, Brian, get your hand out of there. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I guess uh, stay tuned next week. I don't know what game we're going to be playing yet. Uh, stay tuned for this Friday. We're doing a movie commentary. Mm. Don't know what we're watching yet. We don't yeah. really plan a lot here, yeah, but we'll when we do, out. we do cool things. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Next time. Uh, keep swinging. Is that a <laughs> keep swinging. Keep swinging. Fade to black. Oh, God.